usually in Turkey, we gather with friends and family, and we're supposed to give thanks. And the, there is a special, it, it's a little different in the kingdom because every day is a day of thanks. Yeah. Thanksgiving is not something we do once a year. Thanksgiving is a lifestyle. Amen. Amen. It, it's a way we live. The Bible Amen. says to be thankful at all times. And Amen. we want to look at, at Thanksgiving and we want to see the wisdom of Thanksgiving. We want to see why we give thanks and we want to uh, understand what comes out of this thanks. Mm -hmm. I just want to give you some pure wisdom from above here. Amen. Amen. And then I hope you're thirsty. 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be. Be thankful and give thanks, for this is the will of God for you, who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and mediator of that will. <laughs> so there's three parts of this. It's how God wants us to live. Amen? He wants us to always be thankful. Amen? Amen? And, and this is his will. This is his order. It's not just how he wants us to live. It's his command. And we learn how this is to be accomplished because we can't do it on our own. Amen. Christ reveals it to you. Amen. This is how I want you to live. And he's the mediator. He's the go-between. He's the one that pulls the power from the Father and gives it to us. Amen. Hallelujah. And this, this spirit was upon David. That's why David says, who am I that you're so mindful of me? Like, you're so good to me. I, I can't believe. I, Amen. I just, I can only say thanks. Amen. I mean, if you read the Psalms, the Psalms are filled with, you know, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy and love endureth what? Forever. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy and love endureth for? Ever. In Chronicles, King Joseph was facing three enemy armies, three tribes. Now, have you ever had three things come at you at once? Amen. And this is what he did. He called a fast. Everyone got down and prayed, and God said, Go out and fight them, and don't lead with your army. Lead with a band of people give me thanks and praise. So they went out and said, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy and love endures forever. The three enemy armies, guess what they did? They got confused and killed each other. Turning each other. Amen. That's the power of what? Judah. Amen. 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 That's the power of Judah. Thanksgiving is spiritual warfare. It's not a nice thing you do for everybody. Amen. It is. Amen. But it's spiritual warfare. You have to understand that. And you see, in warfare, it's not a necessity I have. It's, it's not a light that I have my rifle. It's what? A necessity. Yeah. I have to give thanks for my own survival. Or the enemy will beat the snot out of me. Amen. Amen. And we're going to look at, at, at this. Now it says, thank God in everything. Mm. Not thank God for everything. Perfect. <laughs> Big difference. Amen. If I thank God for everything, I'm insane. I don't thank God that, uh, that I, I, I'm in a plane crash. I don't thank Him for that. But I thank Him that once I'm in it, Amen. He's there with me. Amen. Amen. The number one reason why we should give thanks is God is with us, with us and He's for us. Amen. I don't care what you face. You're not going to give thanks for it, but you're going to give thanks that once you're in it, God is with me, He's for me, and I'm going to get out of this. Amen. When you do not give thanks, you have a myopic view. Mm -hmm. Very limited. You only see you and the, and the circumstance. Yeah, you only see David and the slingshot and Goliath. You don't see the, the, arm, the, the angels behind David. You don't see the spirit of might and power upon David. Amen. Hallelujah. We give thanks in everything. Hallelujah. Amen. In, in good times, you give thanks. Amen. Because every good gift comes from the Lord. Lord. And in bad times, Lord, I thank you that you're in this with me. In fact, you're so in this, you're in me. Amen. The same spirit that's in Jesus is in me. Mm. Mm. And even if I don't know this, yet, even my faith in it Perfect. will allow me to overcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not give thanks for everything. Face it. Amen. But you will give thanks in it. Amen. Perfect. If you are what? Wise. Because you can't enter his gates without what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Amen. That is the ultimate sign of faith. Yeah. I have confidence. I'm giving you thanks right now before anything. Amen. Amen. Be before they won the battle, three enemies were coming at them. Before anything happened, they're giving what? Thanks. Yes. The they're calling forth things that are not. Amen. 
as though they are. I'm already celebrating. We're celebrating inside, and then we celebrate it outside. It's double celebration in the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I trust God to bring me through it. I wouldn't bring this upon myself. Amen. You know, and you might go, well, I brought it on myself, or God's doing it to me, devil. Who cares? You're in it. You're perfect. You gotta get out of it. Amen. I don't care if it's cancer, I don't care if it's a bad relationship, I don't care if it's divorce, I don't care if it's poverty. Well, it's I don't care. You're in it. Amen. Give thanks and God will help you out Amen. of it. That's perfect. called practice. That's Amen. called practicality. Amen. Amen. Now it says, thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be. Why? Because God is with you and He's greater than your circumstance. Be thankful and give thanks. It's not enough to feel thankful. You gotta what? Give, give it. Thanks. It doesn't complete its cycle. Love is an expression. That's why it says, direct my heart into realizing God's love, Amen. the recognition and manifest. And show it. it has to complete itself. Mm. If I just, I'm thankful, but I never say anything, I've never what? Expressed it, and, and life and death are in the power of what? Mm -hmm. If I, I'm just thankful for for for, uh, for Jasmine, but I never say anything, she never what? Can receive it unless she can read my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, so I have to give it. It's an expression. Love does not complete itself unless it uh, unless it express. It, love can express itself in words, in physical touch, in one on one time, in gifts and serve. Love must what? Express. You must give it. Give it over. Amen? Amen. Now, it, it, it says, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus, the revealing mediator of that will. Amen? Amen? Now, I want to reveal to you now why some of the wisdom of, of thanksgiving. You need to know the wisdom of thanksgiving or you won't know why to do it. Mm. Now, Amen. obviously, the first reason is just because God wants you to do it because you need Him. And if you need, if you need him, you better do what he wants, right? But there's a deeper, there's a deeper reason for this, you know, that I, I want to reveal to you, amen. And, and you know me, I love diagrams. 